The EMPA kidney trial has found that a diabetes treatment can also successfully treat patients whose kidneys don't work as well as they should, a condition known as chronic kidney disease. The drug, empagliflozin, was designed to lower blood sugar levels in people with type 2 diabetes. Early studies showed it could also slow loss of kidney function, and researchers thought it could work for a wider range of people with and without diabetes. With international support, scientists at Oxford Population Health conducted a trial with 6,609 volunteer patients with kidney disease across 240 hospitals in eight countries. Half were randomly assigned empagliflozin and half an identical-looking placebo with no medical qualities. So neither scientists nor participants knew which group they were in ensuring unbiased research. After two to three years, side effects were uncommon with empagliflozin, and people taking it were 28% less likely to have worsening kidney problems or die from heart disease. These benefits were the same whatever their age, sex, ethnicity, level of kidney function, or whether they had diabetes or not. This means that a simple pill could substantially slow the loss of kidney function, reducing the likelihood of needing dialysis or a transplant in patients with chronic kidney disease, and hopefully improving the lives of millions. For more information about the EMPA Kidney Trial, visit empakidney.org.